Hey, Ariana Dietrich here, your creative guide, and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint cute little mushrooms. So I've already sketched them out, and I've divided my watercolor paper into four quadrants. I just use those as guidelines of sort of where my mushrooms are going to be placed to create this composition. So before you even start painting research some mushrooms that you would want to paint you don't necessarily have to do the same shapes that i'm doing because throughout this video i'm going to just be showing you how to mix those colors and how to create that depth in your painting to really make those mushrooms pop so while you're doing that i'm also going to be mixing some colors to kind of figure out what i want my color scheme to be for this so I am go I really want like earthy tones, but I also want some like pops of like bright oranges. So like definitely this orange I want to add in there. I think that's a fun color. But then I do want to balance it out and sort of have just like that earthy tone. And definitely some browns. All I'm here doing here is just picking up swatches, exploring what colors I would want to use, seeing what balances out the whole composition. Maybe I have some light blues, and even this like blue green color is pretty. Pairs nice with that orange. So I kind of like this to start off with, but I do feel like there needs to be some more brightness. I'm gonna see what it looks like with this green. Yeah, that's giving me the vibe that I want. And I think even this, this blue that we just did with that green could mix in really well. For sure. So that's kind of my color scheme I'm going to go with. And I might go off, a, off of it a little bit or I might keep it, who knows. We're just gonna dive right in painting this and I'm gonna start with the big mushroom on top. And for the focal point, I think I'm going to do, I think I may do the orange because then I'll add an orange to these other ones so that way our eye kind of bounces across in that triangle. So when you're thinking of colors, you do want to make sure that your eye bounces off and creates like shapes almost or like S's also are really good. So it's going to create this triangle so that way your eye looks across the whole entire thing. So I'm going to start with my orange and I'm going to start off lighter rather than darker because it's always easy to darken things, but it's not as easy to lighten things. As I say that, I make it dark. So I'm just going to add in more water to spread that pigment around. There we go. The fun thing about mushrooms is that they have such an organic shape that you really can't mess it up. So I'm doing the outside shell, if you will, uh, to the mushroom. And I'm just covering it with this light pigment to start off with. And underneath, I'm going to do a bit of a brown. So I'm going to add that in now. And I'm also going to paint that stem. So what I'm doing right now is sort of just like a wash of my paint, getting that basic color down. So that way I have a base color and I can just build upon this and add my shading. So now once it's done is I'm gonna, I'm gonna add in some more orange and work from there. So I start from my edges and make them darker. I put a little bit too much pigment, so I picked up some water and I'm spreading it. And since I did a little too much here, I'm gonna pick up some of that water and dab and then keep on moving.
And again, I'm working from the edges and working my way inwards. And I'm gonna start to add in that shading. So for this mushroom, I'm also gonna add in some brown onto this orange. And you can see the color bloom happen right now. So the color bloom happens whenever there's like a puddle of water and it kind of just spreads naturally. Um, it does a really nice effect once you let it dry. So I'm gonna pick up some orange and do the same thing over here. And I'll let it dry, let it figure its life out as I work on another part of this mushroom. So I'm gonna have like striations here that I'm going to go in with either pen or with some dry brushing. Um, for now, I'm gonna keep it as if I'm just gonna keep it as watercolor. So that's how I'm gonna paint it. So the striations are gonna go upwards towards that mushroom from that stem. But before that, I'm gonna define this stem so that way we have a defining point for that mushroom. And again, I'm starting from the edges. I get it a little dark and then I, I wipe the pigment off my brush and then I go in with some more water to spread that pigment around. I'm gonna dab it up a little bit. So now I have my stem, or at least the starting of my stem, so now I'm gonna add in that shading I was talking about with the striations to the underneath of this mushroom. I feel like I should have looked up like the biology of a mushroom before starting this video to have the exact terminology. So this is what I'm talking about. So I'm doing broad strokes for now because I'm gonna go back in and do finer ones, but I wanna make sure I have the strokes down at least. And since it, the orange is still wet, I can bring in a little bit of that orange so that way it creates like some nice blending. And right now it kind of just looks like a blob because it's still wet. Now with a drier brush, I go in and do more of those same strokes and lines. So you can start it to see how it builds up. I want that, I don't want that to blend in with the actual mushroom, the stem. So I'm adding another tint of blue, I mean another tint of brown to define that. Okay, so as that settles, I'm gonna let it dry because I don't wanna bother it anymore. And I'm gonna work on another mushroom as that dries. Here's a close up of it so far. So we can kind of see how that color blooming is taking into effect there and spreading and drying like really nice. So I'm gonna move on to this mushroom since I'm right handed. So I won't be, I can then paint this one afterwards without affecting it. 
And for this one, I have circles that I'm gonna uh, try to avoid painting. I'm gonna make this one, I think I'll do like a light green. And since I'm avoiding some places, I'm gonna kind of draw around it with my brush. So I'm being very careful, making sure I'm avoiding those little polka dots that I have already created and sketched in. Once I have that base layer, I'm gonna add in some of the shading here and there. So I grabbed a different color green and I'm working around that circle and I'm going to do that around all these other circles or maybe just some of them to create some color variation and some depth to the mushroom. Okay, so now once I have that, I'm gonna do the underneath of this mushroom. And for the underneath of this mushroom, I'm gonna do some of that orange and some of that brown to really get our eye going around this painting. So I'm gonna start with the orange. And then I'm gonna grab some of that brown to mix in. I'm doing a lighter brown so that way it doesn't take away from this green. And I'm gonna dab it up a little bit to get rid of some of that orange pigment and add some more of that brown. Okay, so now I'm gonna paint the stem, this brown color. So really the mushrooms have like three significant parts um, that we've been painting so far. The top of the mushroom, the underneath, and then the stem. So it's pretty easy once you break it down into these steps. And this stem also have, has some striations, so I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll add in those striations so that way um, you can see them. And I'm just going over some areas to blend it in some more and I'm gonna go in with a deeper orange and mix some brown into that before going in. And then shade it a little bit. There we go. So I'm gonna let that dry, let it settle, and move on to the next one. 
These mushrooms are not completely done yet. They still have some final things I wanna do to them, but I need to let the paint settle before I bother it anymore. Um, so onto this other mushroom, which is kind of funky looking. And let's see what color do we wanna do on this one? I think it'd be nice to do another green, but a darker green. So let's start with the, this. Yeah. These definitely aren't like really realistic mushrooms. They're more whimsical, um, more playful. And I'm just gonna paint all of this. I'm just spreading this pigment around, getting that wash down, that first layer of paint. Once I have that first layer, I can start shading to really define the mushroom. So again, I'm gonna start from the edges and work my way in. And this one has um, a little wave in the front that I wanna define from the stem. In the middle, I'm gonna make brown. And since it's wet, it's gonna spread a little bit and I love that effect. And I'm also going to make the stem here brown and with these striations. And I'm being careful not to go all the way to the top, just to that line I've already created. And I'm gonna go in again and do this, the same thing with the green color. Perfect, and now I'm gonna to continue to shade a little bit on the top here. So I had a little bit of brown, but a little too much. So I'm just going to spread it around and dab it a little bit. Okay, so we may have to let this dry for a little bit and then I'll revisit it. So from there, I'm gonna go back to this mushroom because it's already dry for me. And I'm gonna add in some final tweaks. What I wanna do is fix these striations and kind of define the top from the underneath a little more. So I'm gonna go in with a light color Create more of this undertone. I'm creating just like a little yellow layer to make it pop out more, as you can see. I'm also gonna add in some of that yellow to the top of the mushroom to make it pop. Like that. And then with more of a dry brush, I'm gonna do the same thing, but add in those striation lines. And this is very, very subtle. I would say that mushroom is done. Look how cute it is. <laughs> um, actually, no, not done. I'm gonna make it a little darker on one side to make it look more round.
like that. And add a little bit of red. There we go. All right, so let's finish the mushroom on this side, the green one. And I'm gonna add in the same striations on the stem. If it's too dry, just add a little bit of water on your dry brush. And it'll go on smoother. There we go. And then I think what I'm gonna do is actually do these circles like a light orange. So to do the light orange, I'm just gonna use more water than pigment. And color those in with the orange. There we go. So this one's like a little bit too dark compared to all these other ones. Like these look more whimsical and this one looks a little too realistic. So what I'm gonna do is add in a brighter green to make it pop more. And I'm just gonna dab it around to add in those highlights here and there. And I'm also gonna grab some bright yellow to add in those highlights to make it pop more and bring in sort of those orange tones, a warmer tone as well. And we'll have to let it dry to see how it works. I think I just went too ham with that, <laughs> that darker green, but it's all trial and error. I can always paint this again if I wanted to or scan it into my computer and kind of fix it up in Photoshop as well. That's an option. All right, so I have two other small mushrooms up here that I wanna work on. I'm gonna let this whole thing dry so that way I can work on it um, willy-nilly. So um, you definitely wanna make sure areas are dry before you put your hand on top of it, obviously. So I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit and then we'll come back and paint these two mushrooms. Here we have the mushrooms, and for some reason it didn't record me doing my smaller mushrooms and adding in some texture, so I'm just going to go over quickly what I did. Um, pretty much the same process for these mushrooms. I just added in some blue um, to kind of offset these orange tones, and then did the same thing on this side, added in some blue but more greens to um, balance out this guy over here. And so that way your eye kind of goes across the page. So um, you're not just only focused on one mushroom. So what's fun about this is you can leave it as is. And if you want to go even further, you can scan it in and um, kind of just like dissect them, change the colors on Photoshop um, and create some pat fun patterns out of that. So that is how you do paint some mushrooms. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, comment down below. Tag on Instagram if you create your own mushrooms. You know what else to do. Subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Thank you so much. I appreciate you joining in. And keep creating.